North Korea starts to get a temper tantrum and then they start to show some force by blowing off their crappy missiles and it's pretty much right now a standoff between who's got the bigger gahoonies. Take off. This is Gina Bear reporting to you for duty and wow it's been a while since I've been here on the channel hi guys how's everybody doing I don't know if you guys know this but like literally the months of March and April are the most busy for an English teacher here in Korea because it's the start of the school year things are pretty much a huge cluster and everybody doesn't know what to do nobody knows where to go I don't know what to do nobody knows what to do it's just a huge mess so today I wanted to share with you guys some unique Korean experiences, so things that you find only in Korea. I've been living in Korea for almost two years now and these are just some strange slash unique Korean experiences that have happened to me. One of my commenters left a comment and said that they wanted to see weird Korean experiences that I've experienced, so I was like, that is an awesome video idea, so shout out to you right here for giving me this awesome idea. So let's get started. Oh yeah. One of the first unique Korean experiences that I've ever had, and if you guys have watched my very first video where I'm checking out like my new surroundings and my new area, the first thing I came across was a sweet potato pizza. And when I first tried the pizza here in Korea, I'm like, what the I'm like, why is this pizza Sweet, I've never had sweet pizza in my life until I moved here to Korea. And quite frankly, even to this day, I still find it quite gross. So what's up Italy? I'm gonna holla at you next year, cause I'm going on vacation there. But anyway, yeah, that's one of the first strangest things I've ever encountered is sweet pizza. The next most crazy like Korean experience that I have ever encountered are Korean weddings. The most strange thing I've ever seen at a wedding is where the bride picks one person to receive the flowers, so it's not just like a random like whoever gets the bouquet next is getting married. No, it's just they just take these concepts from Western weddings and Western culture and they just they don't even know what it means. They just do it because it looks nice in photos, I guess. I also think it's weird that the brides wear these gorgeous dresses and they're strapless, so you know they come down a little bit lower. And I know here, like, the idea of conservative is where your shorts as short as they go, but don't show nothing up here. And I just find it strange that they wear this, but they feel so uncomfortable in it. And you can tell because they're constantly, like, putting their hand here over their cleavage so nobody sees it. So I think that's really strange. And if they are so uncomfortable in those dresses, they should just wear a dress that makes them feel comfortable. Another weird Korean experience you'll have here is the Jimjil Bongs. Now, the Jimjil Bongs in Korea can go either one of two ways. Either they'll be super, super freaking nice, or like, this came right out of the sugar shack, like, what am I doing here? Oh my gosh. The nicest Jimjil Bong that I've ever been to had like these heated, warm stone seats, and on the ceiling, there were a bunch of holograms of the universe and of the earth and it was just so relaxing and so wonderful and I literally fell asleep in there for like three hours. It was so nice, like best experience ever. And I've also stayed at like some really nasty ginger bong that was like super old. It was super cheap to stay there but it was just gross and I wish I never had that experience. You can have a ginger bong that's high tech or a ginger bong that's super nasty. It's like Russian roulette. Oh yeah. The next strange Korean experience that I've seen here are people backing into parking spaces and for the life of me, I don't know why people do this. I don't know the logic behind this. Like usually in America, we find a parking space and we're like, ooh, parking space. And we just like head first go into it. But no, like here, they take their sweet ass time. Like, oh, okay, I found this parking spot. Now let me slowly go this way and slowly back up and then slowly get out of my car. I don't understand the logic behind it. It's weird and it's strange. Like honestly, I think it's quicker to just, you know, go head first in and then back out and go instead of doing all of this maneuvering. Ugh. It's frustrating. Another strange, unique Korean experience you'll have is that 
Besides like separating your garbage into like recyclables, plastic, glass, etc. You also have to separate your food trash which I think is the most disgusting thing ever. So pretty much you put your food trash in a separate bucket and then they come and collect that and in the winter it's like whatever everything's cold but in the summer oh my gosh it stinks like something died and I just think it's so strange you know to separate your food trash and then just regular trash and then the recyclables all into one is just so complicated. The next strange Korean experience I've had is while I'm traveling. As many of you guys know, I love to travel. I was recently in Gangneung last weekend with my friend Linda from Linda Goes East. What's up, girl? Like, whenever you're on the bus, like, rest stops are legit destinations. You have no idea. Like, they are so nice. Like, in the United States, rest stops are like, meh, whatever. There may be something scenic there. No, but in Korea, they have full out, like, restaurants. They have, like, entertainment. Like, it just blows my mind. In my experience in Korea, most of the public bathrooms are really gnarly, except at rest stops. Like, at rest stops, you will find the nicest bathrooms because there's actually soap in the bathroom and like high-tech dryers and all that nice stuff and they're super clean too which I love. Also for those of you that like to eat out, a lot of Korean restaurants specialize in particularly only one dish. You're typically going to that restaurant to eat only one thing. Like in America, you know, we have a whole bunch of choice and in many Japanese restaurants as well, like there's a whole bunch of choices. But in Korea, it's mostly just one thing. So if you're going out to eat samgyeopsal, you're going to a place that just serves samgyeopsal or if you want sundubu you're going out to eat sundubu there's like nothing in the middle also we all know that samsung is king in korea and korea hates apple so there are no apple stores in this country believe it or not you can only go to a premium reseller and that's called frisbee so if you're a tourist here on vacation and you break your iphone good luck compadre because you gotta go to frisbee and since there's not that many frisbees around you're gonna be waiting a while so you're tough out of luck i've been on trains in a lot of places but none have given me such an experience as the line two or the line of four during rush hour if you want to experience how a dead sardine feels in a tiny little can just go on the train during rush hour and you'll know what it's like to be like to barely be able to breathe. And the last strange Korean experience is the fact that North Korea always seems to throw a temper tantrum between the months of March and April. And during that time, the United States, Japan, and South Korea are doing joint military exercises. North Korea starts to get a temper tantrum and then they start to show some force by blowing off their crappy missiles and it's pretty much right now a standoff between who's got the bigger kahunis okay pretty much north korea does this because they want one aid and two they want to show the world that they're tough stuff whatever kim jong-un you're a loser anyway because you know if you're over here all of your friends and family back home are going to be calling you especially during this time like when's the un gonna helicopter you out what is your escape plan? Are you gonna die? I heard Kim Jong-un's going crazy again. Trust me guys, we're fine. If the younger generation is like laughing at him, I'm laughing at him too. If the locals worry, I worry. It's very easy. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video today. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Give me a like on Facebook and let me know what your strange Korean experiences are if, or if you didn't expect any of this or what you expect to expect to expect. I just inceptioned you. Gina Bear, signing out.